I'm not too sure that this one will be received very well. Howdy, my name is Stee, and welcome back to another episode of Queer Quandaries. Now, on this week's show, um, I'm going to talk about the efficacy and morality um, involved in urinating uh, in the shower. You can either swing one way or the other way, and no matter which way you swing, there will always be somebody else out there who goes the opposite way and has an opinion as to why you're an idiot. So this time uh, I'm going to discuss the actual, you know, the morality and the rules, the rules behind urinating in the shower in general. Now I just want to preface this by saying I used to urinate in the shower back when I was a kid, like a teenager, but the, no, I haven't pissed in a shower in years. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to go into it just a tiny, teeny tiny little bit of science. The fact that there is ammonia within urine, uh, ammonia acts as like a bleach slash disinfectant or whatever. So technically, urinating in your shower will clean it. Now, we once had this conversation, myself and a couple of friends, on a drunken night, and we all thought it was hilarious because, haha, who'd urinate in the shower? Even though everybody there I know at one point in their life have been in the shower. Oh, man. Really got to piss. Toilet's only out there. Fuck it. <sighs> now, this next little part is going to get a little bit weird and apply a couple things that are just a little bit gross and such. But, um, when I had this conversation with all my friends, um, the person who actually was, like, on the side of urinating in the shower was a female. Now, that's odd. I'll admit it, because when you associate pissing in the shower, you generally think, oh, yeah, that's just something that men do, because men are gross. If you have any kind of, like, issues with the grouting of tiles in your shower or anything like that, just piss on them. It's got ammonia in it, it's, it washes away straight away, and it doesn't leave a weird smell, unless you've eaten asparagus, in the entire bathroom, like a lot of cleaners do. So, I'd honestly, I promote pissing in a shower. If your shower's dirty, piss in it. Simple. As I say, I did do it. I'm admitting this right now. Mother, I am sorry. But yes, it has happened a couple times in the... Not every single... I don't... I don't hold it in until I'm having a shower so I can piss in the shower. I'm just saying every couple months or whatever, I might just go... I gotta take a piss. But I'm soaking wet. There's no way I'm getting out of this fucking shower. Probably slip and die on the tiles. The moment that I realize that I shouldn't piss in showers anymore, that I'm doing it too much. Uh, constantly. For, oh, I don't even have a shower when I piss. I just walk into the bathroom, open the shower doors and piss. Okay, so I was up in Sligo with a female friend of the girl variety. And I was in her house. And I was showering away. And I was just like, oh man, I really gotta pee. And I was just about to pee. Like, I was just kind of going, huh? I had to stop myself and I was like, what am I doing? This, this, this isn't my house. Why am I going to piss in this poor girl's fucking shower? So that's the moment when I stopped peeing in showers because I got to think and then this is kind of weird. I mean, the shower's not dirty or anything. As if that's the only reason people need to piss in the shower. So that is the question that I put to you. Um, have you, not only have you ever pissed in the shower, but what are your views on urinating in showers? Because it literally cannot harm anybody physically. Because when you get a jellyfish sting, the thing that all doctors say is to spray ammonia on it, i.e. piss on it. Well, because piss is... Unless you walk around the beach with a bottle of, like, drain cleaner, then the quickest source and closest source of ammonia would be urine. So you would, therefore, urinate on the jellyfish wound, meaning that urine helps clean things, yada, 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 yada. So, I want to know your views on urinating in the shower. Now, I don't want you to just tell me stories about all the thousands of times you pissed in people's showers, nonchalantly walking in, swinging your junk around, piss everywhere. Do you, like, think it's obscenely gross that there are people out there who will not get out of the shower soaking wet, walk over to a toilet, urinate in said toilet, and then just get back into the shower? Is that something that disturbs you mentally? I mean, like, with the, the fact, that makes me think. The fact that a female brought up this entire point and actually advocated urinating in showers makes me think that females would do it more than males. 
Because, like, a guy can just walk out, stand in front of the jacks, just go, ah, and just pee. Whereas a female would have to sit and pee. Without this coming across as some kind of weird slapstick comedy sketch, she is in a very real danger of slipping off the toilet seat. So I'm actually thinking that this is more of a female epidemic. If someone ever finds out that you pissed in the shower and they're like angry at you because you pissed in the shower, chances are they also piss in the shower, they just don't want you to know that they think that pissing in the shower is fine. So because YouTube has a very kind of anonymous related uh, name system, uh, because you can choose a username, um, let me know in the comment section below how you personally feel about urinating in the shower. Now, I don't want people to just say, oh, it's fucking gross, shouldn't be doing this. I would like a proper logical debate. As in, I just weighed up the pros and the cons. The cons is, it's weird. The, <laughs> the pros is, it's got ammonia and it, it can clean things. It doesn't actually physically hurt anybody. Very few people have gotten ill from, like, being around somebody's pee. Bear Grylls drinks his own constantly. So what I want is a proper logical debate, if you'd be so kind as to indulge me. It's probably not gonna happen because it's the internet, but I'm hoping that it will. Uh, that's why I wanted to do this show, so I could get some actual proper feedback from people. I don't just want people swearing and shit. I, as much as I swear, unless, because I'm Irish, it's allowed. <laughs> that's actually, that's another point as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about swearing in another video. That's actually gonna be a minute. There you go, right there. I was gonna talk about why cats are assholes, but instead I'm gonna talk about swearing. So let me just tie everything together and round up this entire video right now. The ammonia in urine uh, helps to clean things, yada yada yada, disinfect and all that kind of jazz. Um, no one gets ill from being around pee. Uh, because there's a constant flow of water, it just kind of, it's there and then it's gone. The cons, uh, it's weird, uh, it's gross. It's my shower, stop pissing in my fucking shower, you prick. Also, there's a very real danger of dying. Okay, so that concludes this episode of Queer Quandaries. Uh, again, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments section below. And please think about these questions that I'm asking you. Granted, some of them are stupid and pointless. But... It's better than thinking about work. And you're right there. If you've got financial issues, or someone in your life has been an asshole, or your relationship isn't working out very well, why the hell not spend 15 minutes thinking about this subject instead of thinking about all that crap? I'm just, I'm just trying to make your life better by giving you pointless things to think about. Well, that's the end of that. My name's been Stee. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, next week, I will be talking about the efficacy and everything behind swearing. Hope to see you there. Goodbye.